expect the hilarious classic characters that they have seen remember. in the movie and that they remember fondly. And a bunch of surprises which are hilarious also and exciting. Two years, a couple years ago, Scott uh, Ellis, uh, the director, called me and asked if I would read it. And then I've been, we've been doing developmental work on it since then. And you were. Uh, yeah, and I'm fairly new um, to the show. I auditioned about five months ago uh, and just recently joined the cast. Fantastic. Reaction to this score. And there's, a lot of, there's a lot of the score that reminds me one of the first Broadway shows I saw uh, ever was the Full Monty. And there's a there's similarities to that I mean, there, that kind of I mean great hilarious lyrics it's catchy it's like upbeat it's fun um, yeah it's great the lyrics are hilarious when you really get to know David Yasbeck you learn that he is just a, a goofy teenager on the inside and I think that really shows of course you're I think more like overarchingly not specific to this character but I think Jessica Lang just has this sort of this regal presence. Um, uh, that I admire and, and definitely try to emulate in, in some ways. She's she's just one of those people that she walks into the room and you're just sort of taken aback by. So I I hope that I can fill those shoes. I watched the movie a couple years ago uh, at the beginning of the process, and I haven't really watched it since. So anything that has seeped through is based off of those initial yeah, my uh, initial what's the word? impression. Uh, but nothing specific. You know, a lot of the, the good thing is a lot of that work is done, uh, which is great. I have never been, I, in college. I played a. I hesitate to say this, but I played a uh, Vietnamese a female Vietnamese storyteller, which sounds um, offensive, but it was not because <laughs> in the, the construct of it, it was. A, uh, I played like 20 characters, and, there, and it was comedic and light and not, um, anyway. Other than that, no, I've never played a woman. I've never personated a woman, I've played woman before, so this is the first. Bras are in stupid. I think I have a lot of problems. I, I, I was like, this is, there has to be a better way. This is not efficient. This is dumb. Like, I was like, this is dumb. Why, the thing keeps falling, and I'm... And all the women in my life are like, yeah, it yeah. is. And I'm like, well, that's dumb. <laughs> Fix it. <laughs> Somebody, what is the problem? There's a lot of that. I mean, which is also I, literally, you know, I'm experiencing what the characters experience. Like, so I have to take the song, take off the makeup? Like, I have to do this every day? Every day. What are we doing? <laughs> this is nuts. It's a very meta experience. It's very meta. <laughs> the uh, audiences can expect a uh, an adaptation that has updated the film that is hysterically funny thanks to Robert Horn's amazing book uh, that is uh, high in volume thanks to my <laughs> musical inclinations <laughs> and um, and an amazing cast that is uh, going to inhabit these roles in everyone's mind for a long time. I I double that. Ditto. Excellent. Ditto. I think what people are going to get, uh, what they can expect, as as I've said before, David Yazbek has a very singular, unique uh, voice and perspective on our art form, and they're going to see a score that is both cough up a lung hysterical, as well as quite moving, um, with a lot of comedy and a lot of pathos. We have an amazing cast that truly, much like the movie where those actors created iconic characters, these characters are coming in and redefining them in, in a way that I think is going to be classic as well. We have definitely made huge choices and twists and turns to our story that um, celebrate the movie but make it live very much in a contemporary era um, and very much become its, its own story. That's fantastic. Well, you sort of, uh, you sort of, re it's not a, it's not a one decision to decide how a show is going to sound. Um, in the case of the band's visit, it's pretty clear, you know, there's a very strong Middle Eastern influence, if not actual Middle Eastern music that I wrote for that. But um, uh, this, once you know what you're doing, once you know what the show is, the switch is not a problem. 
but what you what's very hard to do is you, you can't really work on two shows in the same like week you know you could if pressed if you like oh I have to have a song for this show um, but you can work on a show for several weeks then go to another show just know what world you're living in people do it all the time fantastic well I can speak for the the comedy element of it, you know, as a as a as a writer, you sit and you write. You sit in a room and you write something and you hope that it's good and you trust your instincts and then you give it to actors who elevate it to a place that you did not even expect when when you wrote it. And I think one of the great things about Scott Ellis is that he he creates a playpen. He creates an environment where actors are allowed to explore and play and create, and then he manages to pull the best of everything from everybody and create this sort of uniform ensemble where everybody really is able to do their best work. If you're gonna do that, you better cast really, really well. Because you need everybody to be at a high level of that game. Um, and I think we, we have that. Um, because if you, have a, if you have one or two people who just don't know how to play that game really, uh, then they maybe feel insecure, <laughs> and then uh, you know. But when you have a group of people who are confident uh, about their intelligence and their co comedic intelligence, um, then then you just everyone's having fun and every all the boats rise and, with and, the tide. And I'll add to that that David uh, has made a point of this throughout the whole the whole process, which is even in much of the lyrics for the ensemble. There's a very specific style of comedy in, in not just the show, but in what he writes and what has written for this show. And David has been saying from the beginning, every single member of this company from the ensemble on up must live in the same world, must have that same ability, and must be able to play together. And yeah. I think we've, we've yeah, 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 we, we both, we knew it. We just knew it. We, you, everyone in this show, no matter what they're doing, dancing, you know, just has to get it, has to get this, this, type of intelligent comedy, and, uh, and that's what we got, so we're happy.